everyone, this is Stephen Moore, also known as Uncle Phantasmo. Uh, in this trebuchet tutorial, we're going to start working on the arm. It's a complex shape. Uh, so we're going to have to create a few sketches and do some interesting things in order to get the shape that I want. Um, but I will walk you through it step by step. First thing first, if we know anything from our last um, tutorial, is that I want to activate the arm component and be working in there. Um, I'm going to create a line on the center, and this time it didn't do, it selected the face. I'm pretty sure it selected not the face that I wanted. Yeah, I can see that the grid is not where I meant it to be. So I'm just going to hit uh, Control Z and get out of it and try it again. And this time hold down. Nope, didn't like it that time either. One more time, sketch. Maybe I'll just move my camera. There. Now my grid is in the center like I like it, like I was hoping it would be. Um, and we're going to create uh, the shape and then we're just going to move it into position in a moment. So it's going to be like that and then I'm going to click and hold and it'll drag out a tangential line. Um, let's try to make it parallel with itself. Probably good. Bring it out and finish off my sketch. Now the problem I have here is that the center of this is not the center of this and I need them to match so I'm going to do a coincidence select the center, select the circle and it'll just shift right into position um, and that is good uh, the only final thing to this sketch I'm going to do is I'm going to move this in uh, I just feel like it's too long uh, and that's a preference thing but I just feel like it's too long um, so now I have my first sketch for the arm done I'm going to select the outer portion do a press pull symmetric drag it out until I get roughly what I think I need, which is going to be probably, uh, let's go with, let's just go with 10. No. Yeah, 10. Yeah, changing my mind. 10. Uh, and then I'm going to do uh, a couple of things. I'm going to do an offset plane on this face. I'm going to drag it out about 30 millimeters. And I'm actually going to create two separate sketches and do a loft between the two. I'm going to do the first one is going to um, be the exact rectangle that exists here and then a circle on this plane out here. Um, so I'm going to hit L, select this face, and just select it. And I like that. Right click, cancel, and double check to make sure that that completed a square by hiding the body underneath and I can see that my sketch did work correctly. Now I'm going to do another sketch, a circle, center, um, diameter circle on, actually I need to stop that sketch and start a new sketch on the offset plane. I'll select the slant center of it and go with the width that is the same as the body that I created or the rectangle that I created previously. So now I have these two shapes here and here. I'm going to go to uh, create, select loft, and select both of them and it'll just figure out what needs to happen in order to create the body between the two. I'm going to do instead of a new body, I'm going to do join and I'm going to remember to unhide the body so that they can actually um, Will become a solid body of them all on their own. Uh, now I'm going to actually I'm going to drag this out. Now I don't want to do a press pull. I'll show you what happens if you do a press pull on it. You will change your shape in a weird way, in an unexpected way. So don't do that. Do an extrude. Drag it out. I'm going to go with 300 millimeters, which makes for a nice sized arm uh, out there, which is what I'm hoping for, which is what I wanted. Now that said, I'm going to create, um, actually I'm going to show you the image again, and you can see that there's a pin at the end of the arm, 
that allows for the attachment of the basket. We're going to need to create two cuts in the end over here. Uh, one is going to be a slot, uh, center to center. Um, and the way that I can't remember for the life of me where which menu it's in in here. Um, so I'm actually just going to do the easy thing and hit S and type in slot and then pick center to center slot. I'm going to pick the bottom um, plane and then I'm just going to drag in and create a you know, 12 millimeter uh, depth or diameter um, slot. So it's, it's basically what it does is it creates two circles and then uh, creates the lines that would go between them. Now what you'll see is that the slot is way, let's go to home view, way below and you may, may be uncomfortable with that. Uh, technically it shouldn't be a problem um, but if it is a problem what you can do out here let's do a press pull on it right now and you drag it all the way up but then you have just sort of this ridiculous situation here and I don't like that um, I'm just gonna select the whole thing and hit move and then drag that up to just above and I can see I could, I've done that in the um, the right view and then from there I hit okay I'll do a press pull on it and drag it down and that kind of constrains the cut to just the shapes that I wanted to be in. Okay we're back uh, I'm going to show you how to put the hole that'll uh, take the pin so that you can attach the basket to the arm and the way to do that is to start another sketch select the you can do the YZ plane this is um, you can do that in this origin folder uh, or you can do it the way we've been doing it previously um, it's your choice whatever you want to do it's totally cool with me I'm gonna hit C and create a circle I'm gonna make it 10 millimeters in diameter then I'm actually going to use the midpoint of this and select this line and it'll snap it right into the center exactly where I want it to be and I can be so happy that that worked and then do a press pull on the whole circle do a symmetric and hit OK and I have the arm completed um, hopefully you're able to follow along with all of that hopefully the edits won't be so weird they could be who knows